Hello everyone, welcome back to this today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SAS. In today's tutorial, we are going to understand the differences between Business 360 connector and Business 360 FAP connector. Whenever you create a connection in the administrator tool of the IDMC, you might see there are two options available. One option is Business 360 and the other option is Business 360 FAP connector. So what are the purposes of these two connectors and which connector we can use in developing the components in IDMC? These are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial. So let's start. First of all, we are going to understand what is connection in IDMC. Connection is a component which is used to access the data from the cloud or from the on-premise components. And those components can be applications, platforms, databases, and flat files. So that means you can use these applications or the databases as a source or target by using these connections. Whenever we create the connection, we need to specify the location of the source, location of the target, and if there are any lookup objects being used. There are many pre-installed connectors are available in IDMC. However, in case you like to install any specific connection, then you can use the add-on connectors. Normally, Informatica support team helps in installing the add-on connectors. So you can reach out to them. Okay. So let's understand the very first connector and that is nothing but Business 360 connector. Before going to understand this connector, let's understand this diagram. On the left hand side of this diagram, we can see the various microservices such as CAI, CDI, B360 and DQ. And those are nothing but Cloud Application Integration, Cloud Data Integration, Business 360 and Data Quality. So these microservices, we can use one of these microservices, for example, CDI, that is Cloud Data Integration, and develop the mapping. So this mapping, in this mapping, we can use a connector. For example, in case you are going to use Business 360 connector, then you have to specify the source. So in this case, we are specifying the source as an on-premise database, which is on the top of this uh, diagram, and the target we can use as a uh, IDMC data store. So this connector, in short, is getting used in CDI mapping. Now, this whenever you use a Business 360 connector, it is used to read and write the data. Important thing to remember for this connector is whenever you do the read and write, all these operations are very secure. When we can create the business 360 connection and you can use that in the CDI mapping. When we create a mapping, we have to make sure we don't use business 360 connector in the both source and target connection. We cannot use source and target as a business 360 um, components. Okay, that thing we have to remember. Now let's understand the FAP connector. As like Business 360 connector, FAP connector also uses the CDI component to uh, invoke or they call this connection. So we can use this Business 360 FAP connector in CDI mapping, which will read the data from the source and the source can be on-premise or cloud. And then we can load the data in the IDMC data store or where the actual data will be stored. So as like Business 360 connector, this connector is used to read and write the data securely and this connector we can create the connection and use in the CDI mapping. Now if you want to know what is FEP stand for it is nothing but the flat end point. So business 360 FEP is nothing but business 360 flat end point connector it is used to connect the business 360 data store. Now, there are not much differences you might have noticed so far between these two connections. The details lie underlying the structure of this 
business 360 app so the, when you understand the underlying component you will understand the differences so let's understand little more about this app connector now in this diagram you can see the data source suppose hypothetically this is on premise source and on premise source is a database contains a data model for sake of example consider it is a party data model so that means we have the party table and we have the child table such as address email and phone then we will have the cdi mapping which will use this source and the target will be our data store whenever you use the app connector in the cdi mapping you can of course you can use any source and target will be data store but in case of app connector each component will be loaded separately that means you have to create a separate mapping for the party separate mapping for email and separate mapping for phone but how can we load everything so for that we have to write the orchestration in the task flow so that means we have to call the mapping for the party first and then mapping for email then mapping for phone in our task flow in short we can use this business 360 app connector to create part of a set data we can create the complete data set by developing multiple mappings and orchestrating those in the task flow to create and update the complete data of an asset using single mapping in task flow we can use the business 360 connector and not the app connector so if you want to load everything in one single mapping you can go for the business 360 and not the business 360 app connector when we run the mapping business 360 app connector write the data to specific root fields first then to the their corresponding charts if you want to load the data in dynamic fields as well as in the field group you can definitely use the app connector it is very efficient for loading the field group smart group smart fields as well as dynamic fields however the normal business 360 connection will not have that efficiency or that feature now we understand a little more about the business 360 app connector let's understand some guidelines about this when you're using app connector we have to make sure we add the mapping task for both root field and the child field group in a task flow it's very important to point to remember in a mapping to ingress the data that means to load the data to dynamic fields we have to create a mapping to ingress relationships as well because whenever you relate the record it inherit the dynamic field definitions as well so you don't have to do any additional step to load the data in dynamic field now what are the important fields you need to map of course you are going to map the business field but apart from business field there are three important fields you need to map primary key source system and field group id so if you are work already on the on premise mdm you might have mapped pk source object and source system those are the two important columns right so similarly on sas version there are three important fields primary key source system and field group id so these three fields are important for various operations such as if you are adding the new record or if you are updating the record or even if you are trying to delete the field group entries you need to pass this parameter important thing to remember you cannot use delete operation to delete all the root fields so this is very important to remember these are just guidelines and these guidelines may change over a period of time but these are the current guidelines now let's understand the differences the actual differences between business 360 and business 360 app connector i have categorized all the differences between the various categories the very first category is data asset if you want to do the full data load in single mapping go for the business 360 but if you want to load a part of data and do it more modular as way i would recommend to use business 360 app connector various objects supported for business 360 are business entities relationships hierarchies crosswalk and code list crosswalk and code list are part of the reference 360 application on the other hand business 360 does not support reference 360 it only support customer 360 hence the objects supported are 
business 360 entities, business entities, relationships, and hierarchies. Target mapping operations are not applicable for business 360. However, you need to specify what kind of operation you are performing as a part of data load in case of app connector. Those operations could be either insert, update, absurd, delete, etc. Let's consider the data volume, which is a major criteria while selecting the connection. If you are dealing with a low volume, for example, if you are loading the reference data set, which is not normally high volume, you can go for business 360 connector. However, if you are loading the customer data, product data, you need to use business 360 FPP connector because it handles the higher volume. It has been tested for 50 million. You can go for beyond that, but you need to take your additional component as a part of that. If you are going to load the higher volume for business 360 using business 360 connection, make sure the data is sorted. It's a very critical, it's an important part of this um, connection. Let's understand the, what are the applications are supported or the component. Business 360 connector can be used to load or um, export the data from customer 360 as well as reference 360. As I mentioned, business 360 app connector is used only for the customer 360. In case of field mapping, you have to manually map all the fields for app connector. There are smart uh, map and exact field mapping feature is available. You can use that if you want. Recon deletion. If a field is deleted or target has been changed, you have to remap all the components whenever you use a business 360 connection. So an FEP connector, it, it takes care you know, automatically. So for the development perspective, it's a very good connection. So you don't have to develop revisit that mapping again and again or less often, I would say. The application support, it supports uh, Business 360 supports Customer 360, Multi-Domain Edition, and Reference 360. Business 360, FAP connector only support Customer 360 assets. In case of loading the data, such as ingress and uh, egress, um, make sure we, uh, we are not using both source and target in the single mapping for Business 360. Uh, However, FEP connector only support the ingress show. So these are the differences between the Business 360 and Business 360 FEP connector. I hope you got the idea and I, I hope this is useful for you guys. If you like this kind of videos, let me know. I'll more than happy to create more videos on the MDM SaaS version. And um, do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit that like button. Thank you again and have a wonderful time.